Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. Okay, I was gonna go ahead and pick from the Oracle decks that I have here. I wanna use a couple of them for this reading. But for some reason, um, these two cards fell out of the Romance Oracle deck that I was planning on using. So let's just go ahead and start off with this. Okay, so we got, I have trust issues and I admire how hard you work. Okay, so I do feel like this person has trust issues and they were sort of operating based off of fear. Okay, so they could have done Done certain things in this connection that were reflective of that okay uh, maybe this person has opened up to you about the trust issues they've had um, you've also told them about your past and certain things that you know you've been through and we also got I admire how hard you work so um, I'm, I'm seeing just in the context of what I was saying like this person does really admire the amount of personal work that you're doing the inner work the psychological work that you're doing to transcend these past issues and they're actually really inspired by that okay they actually want to go ahead and do that for themselves as well okay this person has a lot of respect for you and just everything that you are the person that you are also if you see smoke this is incense i've lit incense to just um you know clear up the energy yeah cleanse the energy and just overall bring um good vibes to this reading i absolutely love lighting incense i think this one is called fairy dust or fairy magic uh i love it it's giving it has like a woodsy like earthy smell um yeah i'm seeing something to do with, like stability groundedness okay we also have this like green candle here heart chakra vibes as well okay so i, I i'm seeing that you know uh, all this work that you've been doing is definitely going to be paying off and your person really does admire the person that you are they also admire you know the amount of hard work you do uh you know at your endeavors your business your work your career your field uh just everything that you do they feel like you have so much personality you have so much depth and there's something really irreplaceable and addictive about your aura you're really magnetic and there are so many good qualities within you that your person really does see and recognize okay maybe here's the thing though you can see and recognize good qualities in people but maybe still not feel worthy enough of that like you know how uh maybe some of you could have dated people in the past who um you know you really admire how great of a person they are you're like wow this person is of like such a great caliber they're so nice kind caring loyal hardworking. but maybe you know you just weren't really ready enough to be with that person because maybe you were healing from the past or maybe you thought they were like too nice or too good for you that's how this person feels and it's really not personal okay this person does like you they are very attracted to you that's never been the issue it's more so that you know psychologically like they just don't feel like um you know they're at the level that you are like you've done so much inner work and maybe they just feel like they can't keep up with you subconsciously like while they are really attracted to you like you know a lot of uh things that happen are subconscious like even we were really subconsciously attracted to people that you know in the past may not have been that great for us because you know um our like maybe this you know one reason is our sense of like self-worth maybe deep down we didn't think we were worthy enough to experience the best version of that person or even if someone better came in um you you, you still like that person right but the thing is like anything can be changed like you know this person even if they're acting a certain way you can manifest a version of them that does appreciate you that does appreciate the qualities you have and is ready to be in a relationship with you okay so um i know a lot of you like doing self-concept affirmations okay so one tip i want to give you is that you know, you can hype yourself up all you want, do all the self-concept affirmations, and that's great. But you should also say affirmations, you know, if you want, along the lines of, okay, well, I'm ready to receive. Okay, well, this person, yes, they see all the good qualities, but they want to actually help me. You know, they want to, or, you know, they, they want to be with me. They want to give me love and commitment. And actually, the thing I said about they want to help me, uh, this reminds me of, like, you know, even if you're manifesting a job, you know, career success right saying things like oh i'm smart uh I, I do really well you know i'm like the smartest employee i'm the best asset you know uh, i love those affirmations and they're great but you should also you know change your assumptions like okay yeah because i'm smart you know people want to give me a job uh because i'm this way people want to do this thing for me because so and so i receive so and so right so it's like you can be smart you can be beautiful you can be whatever but you know it's also important to change your assumptions about the thing or the type of person or the type of thing or your conceptions of that thing that you're trying to manifest okay so that's definitely something that i wanted to put out there okay uh in terms of manifestation also speaking of manifestation i do want to let you know that if you want advice like this um if you want more self-concept advice manifestation advice um you know something that you can like follow daily to you know keep 
be in alignment with your manifestations, be in alignment, like, you know, with thinking thoughts that are in alignment with your manifestations, right? Or just keep on top of, you know, thinking thoughts that are in alignment with your manifestations. Be sure to join the Patreon. The link to that will be in the description box below, okay? Patreon.com slash Enchanted Force 3444. Um, yeah, where I give you advice like this. We have a science challenge going on where we get together and, you know, harness the power of the group to amplify and accelerate your individual manifestations. And, um, yeah, just give you self-concept affirmations and tips and tricks like that for you to get your manifestations, you know, fast as possible. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick some more cards to see what's going on here. I wasn't expecting, wow, it's been like five minutes since I started filming. I wasn't expecting to spend five minutes on Love Oracle cards, but yeah, um, these are new cards that I got. This is the, what is it called? It's called Crystal Mandala, okay? Uh, this will definitely activate something within you. They also have positive affirmations. And actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and use that at the end of this uh, video. I do want to give you some affirmations, but uh, I, I want to go ahead and pick some tarot cards, okay, to see what's going on here. These are the holographic tarot cards. I love them so much. They're pink. I think they're less than $10 on Amazon, okay? So, I mean, if you, if you want to know where I got this from, it's from there. And it, it yeah, they're so, like, properly you know decently priced but yeah okay so we got the knight of wands okay impulsive keep moving energy love the fun so i do feel like this person is very attracted to you again that's not even something you need to worry about they're really passionate about you passion passionate about this connection this also has speed movement to it okay accelerated movement and if this is something you know maybe for some of you guys this could be something casual friends with benefits but i do feel like this does have the potential to turn into something more we also got here the queen of wands okay so Queen of Wands, ambition, the center of attention. Again, this person really does admire you and everything you are. And you're a mirror of their highest self or like their full potential, them reaching their full potential. And that's why they're still really attracted to your energy, okay? Like you really activated something within them that makes them want to do more, uh, to, you know, get more out of life. And that that's a really big thing, okay? That's a really big thing. Meeting someone that, uh, you know, wants, that motivates you to be a much better version of yourself. Meeting someone that really cares about, um, you know, the the world, people around them, their art, their field, you know, like being around those types of energies is actually really empowering. And I feel like that's exactly how they feel when they're with you. Okay. Or it could be like the way you take care of other people, the way you take care of like your family. Okay. Something like that. There's something that you do actually a lot of things that you do that this person's really passionate about. We got a lot of fire energy. Okay. And I was also channeling earth energy in the beginning. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We got the seven of wands here. This has to do with courage, strength, like doing things when you know the outcome is going to be in your favor. Okay. So, um, yeah, I feel like this person definitely will come forward in the right time and I'm, I'm refraining from saying divine timing even though divine timing is nothing but um the timing of your subconscious mind you know it's directly proportional to uh the inner work that you're doing affirmations your assumptions about certain things I mean you could be doing a lot of inner work but if you have this assumption that oh things take a long time then you know they that might get reflected also I see an orange car outside that's really interesting maybe if you see an orange car that could be a sign that something's gonna happen I rarely ever see that for me I like pink cars and purple cars that's like a, a sign that I look for when it comes to you know confirmation that I'm gonna get my manifestations but yeah we also got here seven of pentacles yeah manifestations coming to fruition again hard work we have this theme of hard work like I admire how hard you work all the work that you've been doing is gonna pay off in every way possible like I know this is a love reading but if you've been investing your time and energy into something else a project your work uh whatever career field you're in it's definitely gonna be paying off okay so we got wait for results patience reflecting reflecting okay like stability I feel like you're finally reaching um uh, you know, a place in your relationship, a place in your love life where you're going to be experiencing consistency and stability, okay? So we did get a lot of fire energy and sometimes fire energy has to do with like things being kind of all over the place, okay? So I'm definitely seeing that things will uh, stabilize, okay? So, wow, okay, earth and fire energy, this is great. Uh, someone could have those placements, it's okay if you don't, you know, it's just more about the energies. Um, so yeah, we got the six of pentacles, this has to do with generosity, gratitude, you know, this person wants to make up for everything that you've done for them. If you feel like you've been doing a lot for them maybe you're a giver like this person will come forward and make those things up to you okay but of course it's important to like maintain and respect our boundaries right when it comes to love relationships yeah i want to go ahead and pick some cards from this crystal mandala activation deck i just i love the images so much okay i think mandalas are really great to look at because they have this sense of um you know 
it provides like tranquility and balance apparently humans you know like sacred geometry right uh when humans look at things that are like you know well balanced proportionate like that actually like you know stimulates uh our brain in some way shape or form i feel like there's a deeper science to this you know if you're into neuroscience let me know you know why that is right like when we look at things that are like aesthetic and beautiful they do tend to have this like you know uh like proportionate like sacred geometrical structure to them but also you know beauty subjective beauty is in the eye of the beholder um I feel like oh my gosh I just got this message that like you know you attract what you are or you're attracted to what you are sometimes right that's why like uh you know we're attracted to like what reminds us of the good aspects of ourselves, right so I feel like you're uh mirroring back like again the best aspects of them like what they really want to be like you know like I mentioned in the beginning of the reading and yeah there's something else that I was going to say which I kind of forgot oh yeah something to do oh yeah oh my gosh yeah so cymatics I don't know if you've heard of cymatics uh but basically yeah mandala sacred geometry it's it's basically frozen sound so maybe for some reason i'm channeling the sri yatra i was actually at a metaphysical store today like a spiritual bookshop namaste bookshop in new york city if you know you know and i saw um the sri yatra candle that had like the sri yatra symbol on it and the sri yatra uh basically is an amalgamation of all the dimensions like every single thing that exists so it reminds me of like the kashic records right but it's also um the visual depiction of the sound om so if you say om or it's, it's actually said uh, it's actually pronounced om right um it has a certain frequency a certain hertz and if you were to um map a visual depe depiction of the sound om it would look like a sri yatra and that's really powerful for manifestation that's really powerful for being in tune with the cosmos the quantum field really connecting with the universal energies around you okay so sacred geometry is basically like frozen sound okay it's the study of cymatics so that's something um that was is coming through in this reading so if you're interested in that definitely do check out videos on that um you know they talk about higher planes higher dimensions like even if you weren't that great at math and you're not like you don't you don't need Need to be to understand like the wisdom that's embedded in sacred geometry i've been watching videos about sacred geometry and it's just been expanding my consciousness and helping me manifest at an accelerated rate so that's just something i felt like conveying in this reading okay um yeah so i even brought like a protractor and compass to like you know map out some of the the drawings like metatron um there's different like even metatron like you know that's a symbol oh, i totally forgot what it represents but I know there's even an archangel associated with that. Um, yeah, there's some other, yeah, the Sri Yatra, that's like one of my favorite sacred geometry patterns, the flower of life, okay, the Merkaba, okay, they're, they're all so powerful and can definitely, um, you know, check that out if you're interested. But anyway, let's go ahead and pick some cards from this deck. And then I'm also going to just go ahead and pick some more uh, love oracle cards. So we got Crossroad of Destiny. I'm seeing something to do with like you were meant to cross paths, okay? Your subconscious mind manifested this because maybe this person was a catalyst for your growth, but it was growth that you really needed. We got Goddess Hecate and Micah. Okay, I love Hecate so much. I know she's the Greek goddess of spirituality, magic, and witchcraft, okay? I yeah, definitely spirituality and magic, and uh, she's, she gives me, like, high priestess vibes, high priestess energy. There's actually this um, bar, this sober bar in New York, which I love and frequent all the time, Hecate. It's in the East Village. I love it so much, okay? It's just, it has amazing vibes all around. But, yeah, we got Crossroad of Destiny. I enter into the unknown with complete trust in my heart. You guys, this person didn't know what they were in for when they met you, okay? You were completely new to them. I feel like, you know, this was... I feel like maybe for some of you who do have a past life connection, but I also feel like, you know, they unlocked a new energy by being with you, okay? Like, maybe you could have kind of crossed paths in a past life, but maybe this was a slightly new energy. Like, that's not, in my readings, I always say, like, oh, we have a past life connection, but I feel like there's more to it. It's like, yeah, you could have been connected in a past life, but maybe in this life, you're supposed to explore that connection that you didn't really get to in the past life, okay? Yeah, we got recognizing that this is the portal to new expressions of divine grace. I make my choices from a soul level, okay? Yeah, there, this is a soul connection. This is something deep this is something that transcends time space even circumstances if you're afraid that oh this person maybe you know i'm scared that they'll find someone more attractive or you don't feel like pretty enough or something like that or attractive enough you guys this person is addicted to your energy they're mesmerized by you okay i make my choices from a soul level understanding that what i decided this time has the potential to transform my world in the most beautiful ways for the spiritual benefit of all beings i embrace change feeling spiritually secure and supported from within i cross the threshold into a new way surrendering an unconditional trust i love this so much you guys like i feel like this person is telling you that hey i want you to trust me unconditional love okay uh they want to give you that they 
they, they love you a lot and they're really getting to that you know level within themselves where they will be able to properly give and receive that okay we got daring rebirth okay rebirth renewal i'm seeing like you know maybe there was a tower moment i'm seeing like death card intense energies some mars you know passionate energies aries scorpio energies with radical optimism and unconditional trust there's this theme of unconditional trust i embrace and embody a new emanation of my higher self that's the thing because you've been tapping into your higher self you're going to be manifesting a much better version of this person okay you're going to be uh because you're you know you've been tapping into the quantum realm quantum field and really internalizing the concept of different dimensions different versions of people you're going to be experiencing that okay i feel like everything starts mentally right the more you read about this the more you really internalize this the more you delve deeper into your spiritual practice or whatever it is you're doing to improve elevate right uh you will see a reflection of that in the 3d yeah so i welcome my innate spiritual capacity for rebirth with the boldness of spirit i allow myself to be transformed i am willing i am ready i trust in endings as the hallmarks of new cycles of grace and fruition in my life my soul is luminous and victorious with the sacred power of the phoenix i rise i love this so much i do feel like for a lot of you you have gone through it when it comes to love and relationships and uh this connection as well but you are going to be rising stronger and better than ever okay and this is associated with the goddess ishtar and astro flight oh mica is um it's, it's a stone i believe or crystal yeah i feel like this uh yeah this is like the crystal activation deck so um it's also associated with like a, a different um you know either like deity or goddess or god or uh something from mythology right so yeah um very interesting let's see what the the mandalas look like this is so interesting actually i have no idea what this mandala is i wish they explained the mandalas in this deck like while i love this deck i do wish they explain what these mandalas are and what they mean okay like just well look at this so beautiful okay um I th i'm assuming this is crystallite yeah oh a sorry astrophilite yeah and then i think this is mica i have touched mica before i think it's a really like I remember we took like a whole course on like geology in like the sixth grade. There's a whole field trip dedicated to it. Mica is like a softer stone. I think it's like, it does easily like break or crumble, right? But, um, but I feel like, again, there's this sense of like rebirth. Like even if you're really sensitive, sensitive to energies, it's like you're so grounded within, right? Like where does Mica come from? It comes from the earth. It comes from like, you know, um, like the, the ground, right? Like the earth, like there's so much that the earth produces, like, you know, different types of stones crystals right and all of them have like a different meaning it's like that's sort of like you know accessing the different parts of you like maybe yeah you are sensitive but like you know how to use that sensitivity to turn uh you know to alchemize to you know crystallize into something you know crystallize into your higher self rebirth spirituality like renewal delving deep into your spirituality as means to you know renew yourself on a deeper level renew your mind renewal of the mind that's also something i'm seeing i believe things can be made with mica i definitely do feel like mica is made to use certain things if someone knows let me know i think it's so interesting to um research on these subjects yeah uh, i'll definitely be uh, i'll definitely do that uh and report back you know whenever i have the time because i just i randomly pick these cards so i actually don't know like what i'm going to you know what crystals or uh you know just what energies i'm going to be reading like while doing my readings because i don't like you know cherry pick or pre-pick cards so yeah let's go and pick a couple more love oracle cards i'm just gonna wrap this up i wish you wouldn't push me away yeah i feel like maybe you pushed them away you left them out in the cold or maybe they did that they did that to you and this is your sentiment but again i feel like it's more so that uh you know if you get rejected by a version of them that isn't treating you that well that's a that's a win that's a blessing in disguise it's like you're being rejected by the lower version of themselves so that this newer better higher version of themselves can come in okay uh we also got i'm depressed yeah i do feel like this person has some uh, mental health issues or something that they really need to address deep within okay they need to bounce some energies out yeah we got i feel like there's too much competition we got the queen of wands energy your person knows that there's a lot of people that are into not just because you're attractive but because you're so um like smart you're so like you know you have a personality like you are someone who is full of like wisdom and depth and uh you have a very positive message to spread okay like this person thinks you're really interesting they like the way your mind works like, even if it's not necessarily things they uh understand right like because you could be spiritual in a different way than them like they still think it's really interesting it's like you even, even if like let's say for example you're not necessarily religious but maybe you studied religious texts i know for a lot of you 
you know, you could have taken away something from them, right? Like even if like, uh, you know, someone's talking to you about something that you have no idea, or maybe you don't even really resonate with it. Like th there's some form of wisdom that you can take away from that, right? So um, I remember this word omnism that, you know, there's truth to all religions, right? There's truth in every religion. Uh, there's like truth in like, you know, I'm, I'm not making this like a religious thing. I'm just saying like, you know, you're a person, like they see a lot in you. Like even if you feel like maybe your things are lost in communication, the truth is they're not. The truth is, like, you know, this person actually, this person does communicate with you on a, on a soul deep level that transcends, like, you know, the languages that we made up, um, you know, th th even other ways of communication, right? Uh, maybe in the 3D world, but your your souls communicate on a soul deep level. And that's just like the most beautiful thing ever. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading right here. I really hope this helps. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. I do offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching and I also custom make subliminals. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you'll find my website. You can sign up for those services through my website. And yeah, thank you so much. Love and light.